And what they're doing now, this time of year, is they're trying to make a bunch of queens that will fly off and hibernate over the winter. Well, this is a follow-up to the yellow jacket video that I just posted not too long ago. This is actually like a, over a week later. Uh, I lost a bunch of footage. I uh, went out the next day after I foamed up that nest. They used this foamy insulation. And I went out the next day and there were bees still coming in and out of a new hole that they dug right beside it. And apparently what happened is the foamy insulation went down in the hole and kind of encapsulated half of the nest, but the other half was still quite active. So I ended up just taking a cup of gasoline, I poured it down the hole, and the next day I went back and they were all dead. Now, I also tried a bunch of different ways to get rid of other yellow jacket nests that I found because I ended up finding like eight or 10 around my house and a couple in the back part of my property where I was cutting firewood. And the different methods I used, I found online that people said worked, and some of my comments, people said they've used these things, and none of them worked except the gasoline. I tried borax powder, which is basically a washing powder. I just put, tried the dry powder in the hole, didn't touch them. I put the dry powder in water, shook it up, put it in the hole, next day, didn't touch them. I tried the dry powder in water with a bunch of dish soap, mix it all up, poured it in the hole, next day, didn't touch them. I even tried seven, which is a type of insecticide that people use in the gardens. And I used to use it back in the day. I don't use it anymore because it kills a lot of other insects that uh, are beneficial like honeybees. However, the cup of gasoline, just pour it in the hole at night. Don't have to light it. Just pour it in the hole at night, walk away. And the next day they'll all be dead. That has been my experience. I'm sure there's other ways you can kill them, but everyone pretty much has gasoline. Check your local laws if you're worried about putting gasoline on the ground because that's not the best thing to put in the ground, but it's probably no worse than a, a whole bunch of insecticide or brake cleaner or whatever other things people were saying to use. But if you want to learn more about yellow jackets, watch the rest of this video. Plus, I introduce you to the giant northern hornets, which are all over the place too. They're crazy numbers of them this year. And also an old uh, beat up uh, red fox that I caught napping in the back part of my property i do a little video clip of that too get right into the video it picks up where i am in my backyard and i discover another yellow jacket nest and this is actually a huge one because there's tons of bees or yellow jackets flying around and i'll take you all the way through the rest of the stuff i already talked about keep in mind gasoline about a cup that's what i use pour it in the hole at night kill them all <laughs> let's get into the rest of the video i hope you stick around because it's kind of interesting so today we're going to do a quick follow-up on the yellow jacket, the wasp nests that are in the ground all around my house. It's out here this morning feeding the fish, which I got a bunch of fish down in there. I just happened to notice when I was looking over there, you see that Japanese maple. Just above it you can see bees going in and out. They're going like flying up that way and going in and stuff. Let's go take a quick peek at that. Because that's how you can find these nests before you actually disturb them and get stung a bunch of times. Just pay attention to, and you know, and look for the bees coming in and out of the hole because it'd be the extremes of them coming in and out, especially in the fall. You see, I'm already starting to see them here in the yard. There's one here in the grass, right there. And there's one flying around my face, but he took off. So they're all over my property right now. This nest is, seen down in here, this nest is, right up there and see coming and going and stay here for a few minutes and then we'll get uh start getting angry with me and i'll have to move on but you see there's a big hole so that's gonna be a big nest see how big that hole is right there so that's a big underground nest uh, i got them flying around my feet they're getting very angry at me right there so we're gonna back up and get out of here because once one gets angry at you whoo once one figures out you're a threat, they all figure you're a threat. So I'm in my backyard right now, and right over here, there's a yellow jacket nest underground. And I actually killed them already. I tried a lot of different methods to kill them. And the, really the only thing that worked was pouring a cup of gasoline down the hole. Didn't have to light it, but they all died, uh, at least as far as I can tell. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to dig this nest up and see what it looks like underground. I think you'll find it to be very interesting. Because what yellow jackets do is they uh, chew up fibers like I guess tree bark and stuff, and they make paper. They're also called you know you can call them like paper wasps and make these paper nests. And it should be pretty interesting. And there were thousands of these uh, yellow jackets in here, so 
That ought to be a pretty decent looking nest, a pretty big one I would think. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and run a little episode where I set my camera down here and I stomped on the ground like that and it got swarmed by yellow jackets. So go ahead and enjoy that little video and I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, set this camera up. We're gonna dig that up and see what it looks like. <laughs> They're still flying around. Ah, so I gotta be careful. So this is their hole that they were going down, coming in and out of. So I suspect the nest is going to be up under here. So let's go ahead and move this. And if they, a whole bunch of them start flying out of here, we're gonna to have to take off. Yes. And usually they're not very deep. We still see a hole going down in here. I guess they're up there. It's way up underneath that liner. You know what? I think I might just let this one go because I have other ones we can dig out that might be a little bit easier to look at. They're still flying around my face. So I gotta be careful. Yeah, I don't know where these things are. Um, that hole goes up underneath the liner, so I'm just gonna let this one go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's go back. I got another one out there that should be a lot easier to dig up. I don't think a nest is gonna be as big though, but um, I think we at least get to it. Is that a dead fox or a dead coyote? Oh, looky. So I was walking back here to my junk pile past my junk pile and that uh, was a fox there that must be something very wrong with it although it was afraid of me it, it was covered with flies so it looked very very sick hey check this out that's where the fox went I see a whole bunch of giant hornets flying around now look at them those insects you see flying are giant hornets not the murder hornets but they're like the North American equivalent and they will absolutely destroy a honeybee colony in no time i had one last year that they killed when i went out to the high there were just tons and t you know all the all the bees that were in it were dead outside they just eat part of the bee and this year they're attacking another one that i have but so far they haven't gotten it all make a nest up in the tree out of paper uh it looks like paper anyway it's uh, tree bark and stuff that they chew up so there must be one nearby <laughs> I tell you one thing, there are more wasps and hornets this year than I have ever seen in my life. I don't know why there's so many, but everywhere I go, there's like a wasp nest. I went to a, a relative's little party the other day and they had a giant wasp nest. There's those giant hornets flying around. They had a wasp nest right where we had to park our vehicles and it was thousands of wasps uh, that we scared up. Then they had another nest right where we were sitting Look at this. All those things flying around are giant hornets. I think they call it northern hornets. They must have a nest back here somewhere. I'll hunt it down after a while. If I find it, I'll show it to you. Let's continue on back. And we're gonna go look at a the underground yellow jacket nest. There's actually two back here. I was back here a week or so ago and I was cutting some trees down because I I clear little sections of my property every year. You know, a little quarter acre section. That way the bushes can grow up. And I was working on this one. And uh, I got swarmed by yellow jackets, although I did not get stung. And as it turns out, there were two yellow jacket nests back here. 
in this one small area. All right, so there's one nest here. I came out at night, poured gasoline in this one and lit it. That's why it's all like scorched. But even at night, you have to be careful because some of the bees or wasps will stay outside of the nest uh, and they can still sting you. They don't really fly much. They got crawl around mostly, but I was actually barefooted at the time and I was lucky I didn't get stung because there's about 20 of them outside the nest. This is another nest too that they were flying in and out of and I did the same with it. There's a few flying around, one just flew by my head. But I think for the most part, that nest is dead. Those were probably just the scout bees that were out. All right, let's go ahead and set up and we'll dig this one out. What do you say? I'll try anyway. <laughs> Can you see me? This was one hole right here. I stuck a stick in there so I could find it. But they actually had another nest over here. But I don't, I don't remember where that hole was. So let's go ahead and just dig this up real quick. All right. Hopefully I marked the right spot. Yeah, all right, let me move you. So if you look right here, that's their hole going down. And uh, you can't really kill these things by just like blocking their holes off because they're really good diggers. We'll dig it right back out again. Ah, okay, <laughs> there it is. That's the top of it. See, that's the way they normally are. Not, not normally as far down as that one by my pond was. It appears to be, all right. Now hopefully these are all dead, even the little babies that were in there. This wasn't as big a nest. Um, all right, let's poke at it and see what we got. You can see this is the paper stuff right here. See all the dead ones. This is just from gasoline. I just did gasoline on these. Well, these actually ha haven't built a... Uh, they didn't build a paper around it. A lot of times they do. Yeah, these are just combs. I was afraid there might be one alive because it doesn't take much to sting you. All right, clear it out a little bit more. Whoops. There's a few flying around me, but I don't know if they have figured out that I'm going to cause all this mayhem in here. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that was just like a cup of gas, and I did light it, but I don't know if the flames actually came down in here or not. That's the paper that you normally see on the outside of the nest in the trees, because they do, they make nests in the trees as well. I should have worn some gloves, huh? All right, so let's take a look at what we have. These are the cells where their little babies were in it. And what they're doing now, this time of year, is they're trying to make a bunch of queens that will fly off and hibernate over the winter. Um, these, the, all these bees here will die from what I understand, but the queens will live. I think I saw a queen over here. That was probably the queen right there, a queen. See how, it's, how much bigger it is than the other ones? Yeah, all right, so there's a little yellow jacket. It's kind of a little bit chewed up, but that's, uh, that's probably a queen right there. All right, you can see the hole. It looks like a bowling ball was set down in there. And these little bees dug all that out themselves. They took all that dirt out of there and carried it off and got rid of it uh, so they could uh, build their nest. Pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> all right, like I said, um, the only thing that really worked for me was pouring gasoline in the hole, about a cup or so. I didn't have to light it to kill them. I tried powdered borax, which washing powder. I tried borax and water. I tried borax and water in dish soap. These are all different, you know, over different nights I did this. I tried seven powder, which kills, you know, people use in their gardens to kill insects, and that didn't work either. The only thing I found that worked so far is gasoline, but I've also been told that uh, you can put like brake cleaner in there and stuff like that too. But gasoline, everyone has, um, and uh, you know, only takes about a cup or so. You might want to check your local laws though about pouring gasoline in the ground, but that could kill you right there if you were if you were allergic to them or got enough on you, you'd definitely die. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little video, and uh, if I ever find that big big uh, hornet nest, I'm going to uh, show you that thing too. But I'll have to hunt around for it for a while. It's out here though.